हेलो डेलोपर्स वेलकम बैक टू कोर्स स्टेप बाय स्टेप माय नेम इज अनिल इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ रिएक्ट एंड नोड प्रोजेक्ट वी विल कंप्लीट आवर साइन अप फ्लो सो दीज आर द पॉइंट्स फॉर दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कीप आवर यूजर डेटा इन लोकल स्टोरेज देन वी विल मेक अ प्राइवेट कंपोनेंट आई विल टेल यू व्हाट इज दैट प्राइवेट कंपोनेंट एंड वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द प्राइवेट कंपोनेंट आल्सो आफ्टर दैट वी विल हैंडल आवर साइन अप पेज विद लोकल स्टोरेज वी विल अपडेट आवर नेव बार फॉर लॉग आउट एंड साइन अप मेन्यू बिकॉज दे बोथ कैन नॉट बी remain here uh, together because uh, let's say i am just uh, showing you here we have log out and sign up both menu together but they cannot be together because if user is logged out then we cannot show that button and if user is logged in or signed in we cannot show signed in button right so we will manage all these thing and after this video the sign up flow will be completely done so now let's uh, move with the first part and keep our user data in local storage now you may have a question that why we are putting our user data in local storage see without it we cannot identify that user is logged in or not how we can check that so now you can say that we can just uh, keep our uh, uh, sign up data inside any variable or in our uh, global state and we can identify that but let's say we are just putting this data in a variable or somewhere but just user just refresh this application then how we can get the data the uh, best practice is that uh, the user data we can store inside our uh, local storage here you can see that you can find that inside application tab here we have console element source and network and then we have application tab and uh, here you can find that option right so whenever we will just store our uh, user data inside local storage uh, even you can just refresh or close the tab or even close the browser data will still remain here for very long time right so how we can store it now let's check and i will show you that data is stored or not here also so let's go to the sign up page and uh, here i am just putting a one line of code which is local storage dot set item and it have two parameters one is the key and second one what data we want to store in local storage so we want to store the uh, local storage but one more thing we cannot store json data inside the local storage we just need to uh, stringify it so let's put here json dot stringify and then put here uh, result and now let's check that this is working or not so i am registering a new user let's say my new user is bruce bruce at the rate test.com and uh, abc at the rate 1 2 3 is the password so whenever i will just click over it here you can see that user is redacted on the home page which is done in the last part and now we have some data in local storage even if i just refresh it data is still there and let's say i am just close that tab right even we can close the browser but i'm not going to do that because it will take time but that is 100% guaranteed that this data will be still there uh, and now you are just saying that no data is not there but for that you just have to go on the uh, our same port local storage uh, local host 3000 and now you will find that data is still there perfect okay so now now the next thing is make a private component what is that why we need that first question is that right see uh, after just logged in whenever we just get that data inside our local storage that means our user is logged in or signed in right then uh, user can only access these pages like uh, after logged in user can access these pages product page add product page update product and all so if user is not logged in they uh, user should not access these pages because uh, these all pages are private and only should be visible once user is logged in that how we can check it with the user right uh, we can make conditions we can make other things also but the best practice is that we can make a private component and that component will check that if we are just uh, going on product add product and update product then it will check that user is logged in or not even if user just try to just directly go to the by url 
still that component will check that user is logged in or not and uh, if we will just click on the logged out and we are on the sign up page then uh, let's say user is not logged in then we will just make sure that uh, user cannot access these pages until user is logged in right so now let's see how we can make that page and prevent all these links without sign in so i am making a component here you can make any name to that component but i will just prefer private component dot js this is not mandatory that you have to put here same name you can make any name of it so now i am importing some useful thing let's say react from react and uh, after that i am importing one more thing actually two things one i will tell you within a moment you have to import them them from react router dom and they are actually uh, navigate and second one is outlet outlet will check that uh, if we uh, the, actually they both are will check that if user is logged in then user can visit that pages if user is not logged in it should be redirected on the sign up or login page right uh, one more thing uh, you guys are just thinking that uh, why i am talking about logged in logged in we just signed up even user is signed up but we still have user data here even you user is doing login or sign up the both are same thing right i know that log, login menu is not there but in upcoming video we will create a login api and we will implement that functionality also uh, great so after that i am creating a constant which is private component and this is basically a functional component and what we can do here we can simply return for a moment i am returning here outlet it will out what it will do actually out will will check this props that what component we are accessing here and it will return the same component if condition are matched i will just put all conditions within a moment but first of all let's check that this is working fine or not so let me export default private component and uh, now let's import this uh, private component inside our uh, app.js import this from components and private component we need a space and now i am creating basically a uh, you can say that a wrapper so what i need to do here i need to add here a route element will be Or private component here like this and we can close this out here uh, and the closing tag should be just at the end of our route now it should work fine so now let's check this is working fine or not we can see that every route is working fine there is a no issue great uh, and now we will check that if user is logged in then it can access all these pages otherwise it will it should redact it on the sign up page so how we can check it Acha, one uh, guys one more thing we don't need to just uh, put this uh, sign up url as a private component so i am just putting it outside great so now i am checking that auth so let me take here const auth is local storage dot get item and what item we should check which is user here you can see that in sign up page we stored our local st uh, storage data with the user id even you can match it with it with that key right so if this is uh, present in our uh, local storage 
that means we are logged in and how we can check it uh, we can simply check it if auth is true then we just go to the outlet otherwise we can navigate it and where we can navigate it to the sign up page and this is our sign up url and how do i know that this is a sign up url for that you can just check our mm, nav bar this is our sign up url okay so now let's check this is working fine or not this is working fine why this is working fine because user is logged in or registered so if i just uh, removed it from here and now if i'm just, just trying to go on these pages it will not work because this condition will return false because we have nothing in local stories fine okay after that uh, we created our uh, uh, private route now we have to handle this log sign up page with the local stories we have to check that if user is logged in this page should not be visible here so let's say user is already logged in and user try to visit that page by hitting the url or by clicking over the menu this page should not be visible if user is already logged in how we can just control it so now let's see just go to the sign up and what i'm just going to do here uh, i'm making a use effect as we know this is a callback function right so i am just again checking the same condition here if constant is uh, uh, you can say that auth is still uh, true we can redirect it uh, that navigation function we created in last video from with the uh, use navigation and we can just call it only once okay what is that let me let me just check it actually we just forgot to put that condition so let me check that if auth is true then it should redact on that page right otherwise not now uh, as we know that there is a no user is logged in or registered so i am just adding one more let's say tony tony at the rate one two three tony at the rate one two three and let me just update this email address so whenever i just sign in now as we know that user is logged in and this condition will be true so if i'm again going to back on sign up page it will not work even it will not work on if i'm just trying to put url directly it will redirect it on the home page great uh, that is also great so now the last thing is so the logout and sign up button should not be together so if user is logged in that time logout should be there if user is not logged in sign up or login should be there so how we can fix that so for that let's go back to the uh, nav bar but again we need that same line and here we can just check that auth i can show you how if auth is true then we can just use this link like this or else we can just show the sign up right and we don't need this logout here and now you can see that we have only logout button so if i just uh, remove or you can say that logged out data i know that uh, we should uh, just use log logged out user from here that but that functionality will be implemented in the next video but uh, let's say user is uh, not logged in that time there should be not no logout button there should be only sign up button so again try to just uh, one more user dummy i should not put here dummy so let me put here uh, um, 
peter peter at the rate test dot com and abc at the rate one two three and whenever i will just click on it there is a no so actually page was page was not refreshed now here we can see that we have only logout button so with that way we can implement all these functionalities if you still have any kind of issue you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much